Hello and welcome to our the FAQ series in accounting. The in this session our question is deferred tax and deferred tax liabilities. What is deferred tax? What is the effect of deferred tax on the financial statements? Before we understand the effect on a financial statement, let us understand what is deferred tax. According to the accounting standard, the deferred tax is the tax on the difference between the accounting profit and tax profit or taxable income arising out of the timing difference or due to the timing difference. In other words, deferred tax is a tax on the timing difference and the timing difference arise because of the accounting policies relating to depreciation, amortization and other accounting assumptions which company may follow which are different for accounting and a different sets of policies for taxation. Once you calculate the deferred tax as a tax on the timing difference that tax has to be shown in the income statement as a separate item called deferred tax. So in the income statement the tax that you see is a summation of current tax which is as per the tax statement and the deferred tax which is the tax on the timing difference. In the cash flow statement only the current tax has to be paid so if the current tax is paid we show as a payment or an outflow in the cash flow statement. And in the balance sheet, depending on the nature of the deferred tax, sometime positive, sometime negative, so it may become a deferred tax asset or a deferred tax liability. So the bottom line is deferred tax is an accounting adjustment when on uh, to show the tax on the timing difference. Let us take an example. Um, we'll continue from the previous example where we have ignored the tax and we have assumed that depreciation amortization for taxation and accounting to be same and we also ignored the tax but in this example we are continuing with the same sales same balance sheet same purchase of know-how but the amortization for taxation is 30,000 and amortization for accounting is 20,000. So sales 100,000 and sales is an inflow and there is a cost of goods sold and uh, so therefore the asset will be the asset the cost of uh, stock becomes zero. Stock becomes zero and uh, you purchase the know-how so purchase of know-how is a cash flow and amortization for the purpose of accounting is 20,000 and uh, in the balance sheet the know-how in the balance sheet the know-how will appear at 60,000 minus 20,000 so know-how is 60,000 minus 20,000 uh, since no other items there, profit before tax is 30,000, 100,000 minus 70,000. But in this case, the taxable income will not be same as the profit uh, before tax because of the different amortization. So let us prepare a tax statement which will have more or less the same item but maybe different amounts and uh, so the sales is same we put the sales amount to be same uh, COGS is same but the amortization for taxation is 30,000 is 30,000 so the total expenses is 50 plus 30 and as a result the taxable income is 100 and 100 minus 80 so taxable income is 20,000 so tax will be 
30% of 0 0.30 so tax is 30% and that is called the current tax so the current tax has to be shown current tax will appear in the income statement and current tax here is 6000 but there is also a deferred tax and deferred tax as we mentioned already is the tax on the timing difference and the timing difference here is arising due to amortization so the deferred tax is the tax on the timing difference but in the cash flow statement as mentioned there uh, only the current tax has to be paid since the income statement to show 8000 as an expense and payment is 6000 so there is a DTL the deferred tax liability that is 2000 so we can observe the deferred tax and deferred tax is coming from the timing difference and the current tax is coming from the income the tax statement so profit after tax therefore 30,000 minus 6,000 minus 2,000 so the reserves will go up if we have not we do not distribute the PAT and cash in hand is equal to 170 minus 60 minus 6,000 is a cash in hand and cash in hand will appear on the balance sheet on the asset side no change in the capital no change in the creditor so the total of the sources side is 194 no change in the debtor so the total of the asset side is also 194 but let us recap our understanding of the deferred tax the deferred tax is a tax on the timing difference and the timing difference here is amortization because we are using different amortization principle amount for uh, tax and for accounting the current tax is a tax on a taxable income and the current tax is shown in the income statement and the deferred tax is shown on the balance sheet so to recap here in the income statement you show current tax and deferred tax deferred tax is a tax on timing difference in the cash flow statement only current tax is paid and in the balance sheet depending on the positive or negative DT there will be a DTL or DTA whereas in this example there is a DTL so the impact of deferred tax on the income statement balance sheet and a cash flow statement is the focus of this particular presentation thank you very much